What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Shook. And today I'm gonna be talking about how I quit Walmart after my second shift. So basically, um, I'm not the type of person, <laughs> let me just get this out of the way. I'm not the type of person out here that'd be just going into jobs, collecting like that first one or two week paycheck and then leaving. This was honestly the first time I, I did it and I just wanted to explain it to you guys how I just gave you guys a little story. So bro, I was at Walmart and I applied through uh, some like sites and such. I got in, I was the position where you had to like push the carts, like whatever the position is there for pushing carts into like, you know, making sure the carts are good and such, you know, just physical labor. I went in, did my training and such. I think the training was like, I don't know, some like eight, 10 hours or some shit. And like, I got paid for all of that and such, right? Something like that. I think it was eight to 10 hours, right? And bro, they finally put me on to, <laughs> they actually put me on like some actual work. And bro, the thing of like, bro, it was brutal. To start off, I live in Canada and I know a lot of you are gonna say, that it's not that hot there, but bro, in the summer sometimes, yo, you don't understand, it'd be humid here. Like we do have a lot of snow for like majority of the year, but when it's summertime, it gets humid for some reason. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's just humid as hell. So it's hot as hell outside, right? And I'm pushing these carts and such, you know? I didn't even mind it too much, you know? I, I'm used to like physical labor, you know? I don't mind it or whatever, right? I'm pushing these carts in and out. I'm using the machine. I'm meeting some new people and such, just getting along, right? My first shit goes by and I'm just like, bro, that was tough. Now, the real reason to why I quit it was, bro, there's this one dude. He was just like, oh, he, ah. I don't even remember his name because like I left after the second shift. I, you're, you can already see where this story is going. But anyways, this dude over here was one of those dudes who I just been working at Walmart for like 20 plus years, switched to this division in particular. And then all of a sudden thinks he can just put his like dick up everyone's ass and shit and tell them what to do and stuff, you know? He was a supervisor and such, but bro, what I mean, he was like lazy, like bro, Anybody at Walmart probably just felt this and anyone who's worked a job has probably felt this. This guy wouldn't do shit. Like he would be making me do all the, all the fucking labor and shit on the hot sun, yelling at me. And also besides him like doing nothing at all, this dude was also kind of weird and such. He kept like, I don't know how to explain it. You know, he would, he would throw sneak disses and jabs at you. And you wouldn't say anything back because at the end of the day, he's a supervisor, you know, he would just get you fired if anything, you know, and you don't want to be on his bad side and such, right? So his attitude and yo, the dude was just pretending like I was his slave just cause I just got this job. And bro, I literally, <laughs> I remember, I remember he was like, I'm going to go for a smoke break. I'm gonna be back in half an hour. And I said, okay, sure, no problem. This was like my second shift halfway through. Halfway through that shift, as soon as he left, man, I was just like, man, this is just beneath me, man. And I, this is nothing against people who work that position. I'm like, this is nothing against them. It was just like for me, for what I was working for. And like, you know, I already had a job from before and such. This is more like, I just wanted to make more money and such. The conditions and the people I was working with were just so unbearable. It was just like, I had to leave and such, you know? I literally left like halfway through that shift and such. Never came back a single day, but they, but you know, Walmart got the message. I ended up collecting that little paycheck and such. And that's how I worked at Walmart for like maybe two shifts. Honestly, I don't really recommend Walmart just cause like, you're gonna have someone who's a, higher than you that's going to be telling you what to do for my personal experience at least you know and a lot of the times a lot of people who work there aren't you know they're not going to be like obviously the nicest you feel me especially if they're your supervisor and honestly at the time i was just like i knew my worth and i was just like yo i can get a better job somewhere else you know 
I was kind of just doing that job for some money. And that's what it made me realize I'm going to, I'm going to really like make sure if I choose a job next time that I stick to it, you know, it's sustainable. But anyways, that's my experience with Walmart. If you guys have any crazy experiences with Walmart or you guys don't fuck with Walmart at all at your job and such, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and such. Show me love and such. Other than that, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.